The following video is sponsored by Luxury Playstyle. These are honestly the highest quality tokens I have ever seen. They make me want to play my games more, and you can save 15% right now by using my code VIP. So head on over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com. Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the BTLB Y-Wing unboxing from X-Wings Wave 5. This is finally here. We've got this a little early thanks to an FFG pre-order. Uh, it's one of the advantages. They have kind of eliminated their shipping costs, so if you pre-order from them, sometimes you get things a little bit early. Although, granted, you should also totally support your local game store. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. And oh, I'm going to pull everything out. Look at this. Look at all of our stuff. Uh, yes, very, very excited about this. Oh, these. I, I, I'm less excited about this part, though. Because I do hate the new blisters. I'm not going to lie. The new blisters are a pain in the butt. Huge pain in the butt. We'll get them. We'll get it. All right. Finally got it. Managed not to cut myself in half. And whoo boy. Here is that Y-Wing, folks. It is gorgeous. Very much gorgeous. And of course, one of the things we always worry about with a Y-Wing is, are the nacelles the same size? And of course they are, and that is kind of a uh, throwback to one of the old Gold Squadron cards where this little pylon was sticking out way, way farther than it should have been. Uh, their art has certainly come a long way since then. Uh, we do have a little bit of engine glow in there, which is really cool. We've got some Republic symbology on the side. Let's check the other side. Got a little bit of stuff right there as well. There it is on the other side as well. Very cool. Good paint apps on this thing. Nice wash, not too dark. Looks very, very good. And our turret, by the way, looks a lot less ridiculous than the initial uh, launch wave Y Wing for the Rebels. Speaking of which, let's compare the two. And there they are, side by side. You can certainly see, uh, like, the skeleton next to the fed, the well-fed boy right there. All right, uh, yeah, but, like, that that turret was just kind of ridiculous. Um, it's kind of cool seeing them kind of fly like this, too. You know? I kind of dig it. Um, and then, for comparison's sake, we also have the original 1.0 Y-Wing, which I think some people definitely prefer because it doesn't have that obnoxious turret on the top yes all right so let's go ahead and dive into the cards in the cardboard all right so first thing is we've got our dial here so there is the dial not the best dial in the world which you come to expect from a y-wing you just got your one and two straight blues uh that 4k turn and uh, not a whole lot of real easy hard turns to make uh you've got your cardboard there you got anakin and oddball uh goji and shadow squadron on the back of those We've got our little turret arc indicator. We've got broadside and matchstick. We've got all these turrets and then our fuse counters as well, which are still in, still kind of new, not super new. R2-D2 and Red Squadron bomber. And then we've got, oh, we've got our new electro proton bomb right there. And then we've got our, some more tokens. All right, now let's look at the car. So here we go. We've got Anakin Skywalker here, and uh, he's still Initiative 6, and this is going to be a real fun one for him to fly on. He's got the 3-4 still. Of course, the Y-Wing itself just has two weapons, all right, two, two, two attack, one agility, five hull, three shields, can focus and target lock, and it can red barrel roll or red reload. In my, <laughs> I think in one of my videos, I mistaken mistook that for the uh, turret arc, but it does not have a built-in turret arc. Of course, you'll get that you equip a turret to it. It also has plated hull. While you defend, if you are not critically damaged, change one crit to a hit. So it definitely gives it a little more survivable ness, a little survivable ness, and kind of makes uh, some thematic sense of that extra hull plating on there, which is very cool to see. All right, next up we've got, oh wait, wait Anakin, we forgot Anakin's ability. After you execute a maneuver, if there's an enemy ship in your arc at range zero to one or in your bullseye, you may spend a force to remove a stress token. So very much like the original Anakin. A lot like it. So that's kind of cool. Digging it, digging it. It's going to be harder to pull that off with Anakin in a Y-Wing, I think. But uh, but you know what? Maybe. Maybe you can make it work. All right, we've got Oddball here. 
uh, who also has, after you execute a red maneuver or perform a red action, if there is an enemy ship in your bullseye, you may acquire a lock on that ship. That's always going to be useful on a missile delivery platform or a torpedo delivery platform like the Y-Wing. We've got Matchstick Shadow 2. While you perform a primary uh, turret rotation arc attack, uh, or rather, while you provide, provide a primary turret attack, you may reroll one attack die for each red token you have, which is going to be super cool. That will be a fun one to try and make use of, especially with all the red on their dial. You've got Broadside here. Uh, while you perform a turret attack, if your turret indicator is in your left or right, you may change one blank result to an eyeball result, which is perfect because you could just kind of set it there and strafe the battlefield. I love that one. We've got our handy-dandy R2-D2 here, uh, who happens to have a calculate instead of a focus. Uh, and R2 has taken piloting command of this guy. Uh, at the start of the engagement phase, if there's an enemy ship in your rear arc, gain a calculate token. Super fun. R2 is going to have some probably some special upgrades. This is one of the reasons why I wish we had the points already. So, you know, we're all printed on here, so we could just say, oh, look at that, R2 doesn't have an astromech slot, you know, right? Because we can assume he won't have an astromech slot. I don't think anybody jammed him in the cockpit. Goji, while a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 defends, it may roll one additional defense die for each friendly bomb or mine at range 0 to 1 of it. So, pretty cool if you're going to be, lop you know, only friendly bombs or mines, though. But pretty cool if you're going to be dropping... Bunch, a bunch of those, especially the ones with fuse counters. And then we've got our generic uh, Shadow Squadron at Initiative 3, and then our generic Red Squadron here at Initiative 2. We do also have a couple of really cool uh, uh, quick build cards, so let's take a look at those. And while I show off the quick builds to you, I do want to remind you guys about the new giveaway that's going on right now. It's for a whole bunch of promos. They're uh, amazing. There's some uh, Star Wars Celebration promos in there so make sure you check those out you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment so very cool stuff there all right uh so btl y-wing btl y-wings uh we got anakin with precog reflexes ion cannon proton torpedoes ahsoka gunner r2 astromech and proton bombs that one's pretty uh pretty nice a little bit uh, like four threat there r2 with ion c3po as a crew so you know um that's i mean that's how you expect them to be with proton bombs. Uh, oddball with Predator, R3, our Ion Cannon Turret, Proton, R3 Astromech, and Hall of Grade, and then Matchstick with Elusive Ion Cannon Turret, R2 Astromech, Proton Bomb, Delayed Fuses, and Shield Upgrade. So that's kind of cool. We, there's, but wait, wait, there's more. There's more, folks. We've got Broadside right there with Snapshot, R5 Astromech, Ion Cannon Turret, Hull Upgrade, Snapshot, uh, Ion Cannon Turret, Proton Torpedoes, and R5. Uh, we got Goji with the Electro Proton Bomb and Afterburners. And then, oh, see, look at that. You got Afterburners with that? That's kind of cool. You know, I'm taking two mods. Because uh, I, I don't think all of the Y-Wings are going to be able to take two mods. Um, and then the Red Squadron Bomber for Ion Cannon Turret, R2, Proton, and Delayed Fuses. You know, let's look at our upgrade. All right, so first off, we've got Snapshot, which is cool because it's an extra attack and it's a uh, you know it's a, a talent so very very cool uh, front arc only at uh, range up to two and after an enemy ship executes a maneuver you may perform this attack against it as a bonus attack but your uh, dice cannot be modified this one is always going to be a fun one uh, I love it but especially on the lower pilot skills if possible uh, we're getting some new force upgrades here we got foresight. This one is uh, a bullseye attack. It's kind of like Snapshot, but for the Jedi. Uh, and, uh, you know, but you got more, a little more range on this one, one to three. After an enemy ship executes a maneuver, you may spend a force to perform this attack as a bonus attack. You may change one eyeball to a hit, but your dice cannot otherwise be modified. So that one is a little better, but a little bit more narrow. You got to line it up just right. And you've got precognitive reflexes. After you reveal your dial, you may spend one force to perform a barrel roll or boost action. Then, if you have, if you performed an action you do not have in your action bar, gain a strain token. If you do, you cannot perform another action during your activation. So this is a way for Anakin to boost in this thing. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, ion cannon, or maybe somebody else, because I think we've got an Ahsoka gunner in here. 
which can give us some force to be able to do that. Uh, but you might not be able to take the force upgrade, so it's probably not going to work. So, yeah. All right, um, Ion Cannon Turret. You've got a turret. It's, uh, you know, we've seen this one before. There's nothing new here yet. Um, cool one here for C-3PO. Uh, so you can put him with R2 if you want. He's Republic only. And he's also going to give you the ability to calculate. Uh, while you defend, if you're calculating, you re-roll re one defense die. After you perform a calculate action, gain a calculate token. Super cool. We've got Ahsoka as a gunner. Give you a little force. Uh, after you execute a maneuver, you may spend a force and choose a friendly ship at range 1 to 3 in your firing arc. If you do, it may perform a red focus action, even while stressed. There's some of, the, some of these pilots that will work really, really well with. We've got Chopper. He, he starts face up. And he's got two charge. After you execute a maneuver, you may spend a force to perform a red evade action, even while stressed. And during the end phase, if you've got zero charge, you flip it open and he goes crazy. This is funny because we didn't really see Chopper during the Clone Wars, but we heard about him in Star Wars Rebels. That, that's when Hera found him, so that's kind of cool. It makes me wonder if he will show up in Season 7 of Clone Wars as like an Easter egg. Um, after you execute a maneuver, you must choose a ship at range zero to one. It gains a jam token, which that could be you. You might give yourself or a friendly ship a jam token if you're not careful. So that one is, um, I think he's gonna be a lot of fun. A super lot of fun. We've got our proton bomb. We've got our electro proton bomb, which is the, basically, I guess the other proton bomb works on gasoline and this one is all electric. So it's a little, it's more green. It's better for the environment. Is the electro proton bomb, uh, which does do all kinds of nasty stuff. Of course, you've got to have reload, and you've got to have a bomb, and you've got to have a mod, and you've got to be able to take that thing. Also, uh, and then we've got delayed fuses, which is going to let you place a fuse marker, which basically is one of these things right here, and then instead of blowing up the bomb, you just take off a fuse and kind of give it a countdown, which is also going to synergize with a little more of this ships and some of these pilots. All right, guys. Well, that has been the BTLB Y-Wing expansion unboxing. And let's uh, let's have some fun playing some Republic. I love the Republic. So can't wait to fly Anakin in a Y-Wing instead of an Aether Sprite. That will be pretty interesting. Maybe have him launch some proton torpedoes or something like that. We'll see how that works. Uh, also, don't forget to enter to win that giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos, and you can win a Wedge promo or uh, Armada, uh, a set of Armada promos. I'm giving away four different giveaways right now, so they're pretty big. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later. That's all I've got. Really, I want to thank you all so much. I also want to thank my patrons. They are amazing. I also want to thank Luxury Playstyle for sponsoring uh, this video. I want to thank you guys so much, and as always, have a great day.